In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Glory be to Jesus Christ, glory be to him forever, amen. I really love this time of year, um, the month of October. A lot of good things happen during this month of October. During this month of October, I think of the time of the end of summer, the beginning of winter, where it really, truly starts coming into that fall season. You begin to see the leaves changing color and falling to the ground. And as we approach the colder weather, um, it's, it's an end to the heat, it's an end to the summer. I am more of a person who loves the colder weather. I love this time of month, the month of October. Very special time for me. Especially October 30th, which is a very special time for me. It's a time in which a lot of the spiritual part of getting in touch with nature, um, getting in touch with the cosmos, with the universe, and really just feeling the power and the surge of, of nature and everything nature has to offer. I like to be able to walk on the cold grass or on the cool dirt with my, uh, without any socks or shoes on and just allow myself to be grounded into the earth and fill uh, the earth beneath my feet. Um, I love this time of year because of all the different things that we do during this time of year. Um, people are preparing in, in many ways for not only getting in contact with Mother Nature and the Earth, um, but also with getting in contact with uh, the universe and with the cosmos. You know, we have so much energy surrounding us in this world, and we don't really tap into it all the time. We don't tap into the energy of the moon, or the energy of the sun, or the energy of the stars, or the energy of the planets. But there are some people that do, and they understand what I'm talking about. Getting in contact with uh, spirits that move during this time of year um, is very, very special to me. Being able to understand the kind of work that can be done during this time of year, the spiritual work that can be done during this time of year. This is a time of year for great blessings and gatherings together. Um, it's got that warm, spicy, uh, sort of aroma feeling. Um, the smell of cinnamon is in the air. The smell of pumpkin is in the air. Um, I think of the full moon and the animals. The animals love this time of year. Um, I think of all the, uh, the cats and the dogs who are so in tune with nature. Um, they understand the, the, the energy that's going around this time of year. Um, being able to practice our faith in this time of year is a very special time, very, very special time during the month of October. And we begin to move in towards October, then November, Thanksgiving, um, which is uh, really not something that we celebrate in the Orthodox Church, but it's something more of a tradition that we have in America. Um, family gathers together and we sit around a table and we have turkey and pumpkin pie and uh, apple cider and all the special food that we eat, cranberries and things like that. Time of family coming together and appreciating uh, what we have. 
then moving through this month of October into the month of uh, December and preparing ourselves for uh, the celebration of Christ coming into the world, Holy Nativity, Christmas time, which in the West is celebrated on December 25th. We are, as Americans growing up in America, very accustomed to celebrating um, Christmas on the 25th. But in old calendar orthodoxy, we really don't celebrate Christmas, which we don't even call Christmas, we call it Holy Nativity, uh, the birth of the Savior, until January the 7th. And that's a very special time and prayers that are done. So we have these things to look forward to. And it's just this time of year as we begin to prepare for Holy Nativity coming up in a few months. Um, there's such a good vibration, such a good aura, such a good energy uh, during this time of year. And uh, the time of uh, Halloween or Samhain is a very special time um, for a lot of people. And I like to decorate candles uh, during this time of year, um, which I really haven't shown anyone um, some of the candles that I've been working on and making. Um, I'm looking into purchasing larger candles and uh, using a little honey and using some sage incense and um, special colors of uh, glitter powder that I'm uh, using. They're more like flakes, not really a powder. And making these candles that I'm carving uh, special uh, designs into the candle and then rolling it after anointing it with some oil and then rolling it into this uh, colored glitter. So when you wipe the glitter off, you can see how the glitter fills in the, the empty spaces as you carved your designs into the candle. And uh, then placing uh, the sage on a spoon and heating it up and dropping it into a long glass container that the candle is gonna slide down into. And then the candle fills with the smoke and you put a drop of honey there um, also with with the sage and and it creates this sweetness of this candle of this blessing so that this candle when it's lit it's burned it's bringing blessing it's bringing that uh, what energy you're putting into it as you light that candle and and um, if you go to a store somewhere where they sell uh, cinnamon incense or pumpkin uh, incense um, pick up some of those stick incense and and it puts you in a right mood in a right um, atmosphere for this time of year think of um, things that you can do to uh, bless uh, people in certain ways um, maybe giving them uh, certain gifts or being nice to them or um, doing something for somebody else just thinking of doing something uh, for someone else during this time of year during this month of October um, maybe go to the store and buy a few gifts and just randomly give them to maybe some strangers that might make their day um, there's just so much that you can do um, to be a blessing to someone else and and be able to reap back you know what you sow you know if you sow those kinds of love and charitable blessings you definitely will reap what you sow and 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 those things will come back to you um, so also remembering this time of year um, our ancestors and those who have gone on before us uh, as Orthodox Christians we remember uh, saints that that were commemorated during this month of October um, and being on the old calendar we're about 13 days or so uh, behind so keep that in mind and during this month of October and this time of year maybe light a candle for a particular saint who's uh, is remembered during the month of October and then ask that saints prayers you can even go further you can go to a public library or on your computer if you have a printer and print out a color print of one of the saints of the month of October 
and uh, go ha print it out and go to Staples or Office Depot and have it laminated with like a real thick lam lamination and then uh, stand it up somewhere in your house or pin it on the wall with a tack and then get a little table and light a little special candle, maybe a scented candle of pumpkin or spice and, and, and light the candle there and every day go and venerate that icon of that saint for the month of October. Ask his prayers, ask his blessings or her blessings or prayers and just watch how your life begins to change for the better. Um, there's so many things we can do as Old Calendar Orthodox Christians during this month of October. Um, also during this month of October, uh, the moon is very powerful. The energy from the moon, the energy from the stars, the energy from the planets that's in the right uh, hours. You can go to your cell phone app and uh, upload on your cell phone app uh, the changes of the moon or the phases of the moon. And you'll always know what phase of the moon you're in. And there's different types of work that you can do during those phases of the moon. And also there's another app called Planetary Hours you can go to and it will tell you uh, different times of the night like midnight, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, where are the planets in that hour, maybe Sagittarius, maybe Jupiter, maybe Mars, and there's various types of incense that can be made um, or that you can just go by uh, for that particular planetary hour. So say, well, it's the month of October and on this night, the moon phase is going to be, you know, in a crescent, waning crescent, and and on this hour, maybe two in the morning, it's, we're going to be in the planetary hour of Pluto. So you can look online and find some uh, incense for uh, celebrating uh, this planet alignment of Pluto, and you can uh, go to different videos that will instruct you on uh, how to. Um, get that energy from from um, that planetary pl uh, hour uh, during the time of Pluto. Um, Pluto gives certain type of energy. Sagittarius gives a certain type of, edu uh, of energy, certain signs of things when we look at the hours that we're in, the phase of the moon. And when these things are all lined up and you know, well, we're going to be maybe in the phase of Libra or the phase of Sagittarius or the phase of Aquarius. Um, and then we're going to be in the planetary alignment of maybe Jupiter or Mars. And then on this Saturday night, we're going to be in, in a full moon maybe or a new moon. And there's just so much that you could learn about all this and be able to know exactly, okay, uh, during this time of Sagittarius, this is... Uh, what I'm getting uh, during the, t the, the time of um, the planet of, of Mars. This is what I'm understanding. This is the time of the phase of the moon. And uh, this is the energy that I'm drawing down, the energy of the moon and feeling this energy. Going outside, go out in nature, walk around and in, in, go up to the mountains somewhere out in the desert, smell this smell of the desert you know um, smell the smell of, of the forest go out into the forest and smell the sweetness of the pine trees and and it's it's just very um, amazing to to really get in tune with aligning yourself with nature with the earth and the air and the fire and the water and all the different things of nature that are around you Maybe go for a walk on a sandy beach with no shoes on. Listen to the sound of the waves crashing back and forth, back and forth. Look at the setting of the sun and absorb that energy. Or maybe in the morning and watching the sun come up. There's so many things you can do to just be alone with God and alone with nature. And you're, the more that you begin to, to study these things online, reading books about it, and the more that you begin to allow your body to come in contact with nature and you begin to go out into nature, 
you're going to start experiencing things. If you can go out on a know what time this uh, the moon phase is going to be and the planets and their planetary hours and what's going to be um, you know what's the sign going to be is it going to be Aquarius or Sagittarius and you can go out during that particular time and say I'm going to get a tent and a sleeping bag and I'm going to go camp out on this night and I know from this time to this time what's going to be uh, what planets going to be in those planetary hours smell the fresh air in nature be alone with God be alone with nature and just allow yourself to experience everything that I'm talking about and you will see a different change in you a for the better because we are a part of all this creation we are a part of of this nature and so I can really get into it very deeply but I think that this covers a basic of what I'm talking about um, and I will leave it at that for now and may Almighty God bless you the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.